365 Days of Clay Cups. It is day number 30. And uh, today, obviously, cup number 30 is going to be thrown and going to try and practice some of the new techniques. I want to come up with a nice looking cup today, so I may go back and forth from the new techniques to the old one just so I can get a great looking cup. <laughs> but um, I do want to practice the new techniques. So, uh, Also, I keep looking to my right here because I have a little burden. This cup is a little burden. This is the one I made to Peggy Sue, well, the song Peggy Sue, and it's for my, my high school teacher, and I really wanted to do great on it. I just thought, oh, I just want to do that. But this would probably get me maybe a C minus, C, C minus or a D, because it was going great. Look at that. The bottom of it, awesome. The foot, beautiful. And then it decided to fly. The one time I didn't put the little clay around the edges, I was feeling real confident, you know. And, uh, yeah, so look at it, it's all lopsided. So I thought, you know, if I wait a day and I come back out, I can do something with it, but guess what? Too hard. So it is what it is, and I told you from the beginning that, you know, it will be, it is what it is. And so this cup is what it is. So maybe I'll make you a new cup, Mr. C. Um, but this cup is going to have to be what it is. I basically don't have anything to trim today because the fireman cup was a large cup and it's still pretty wet. So I'm going to fill time and you're going to see some other, I'm going to do a couple other little things besides throw today. So I hope you enjoy it. This poor sad little cup. <laughs>
Okay, here's something I wanted to show you. This is my 365 day of clay cup progress chart. And what I've got here is I actually log in. I have what day the cup would be, the date I'm going to publish it to YouTube, the cup number, and I usually write those in as I go along here, uh, how much the cup weighed when I started, the throw date, if I took a picture of it on the throw, the day that I finally altered it, the picture that I took after I alter it, I'll, altered it, you know the one on the red stand there, and then the date I publish to YouTube. They actually, it's actually already published. Um, <clears throat> now, I, today I'm going to fill in the date that I bisque fired uh, up to cup number 11. I'm going to put the dates in here. And I was, I was going to take a picture of all the bisque fired ones, but I'm not really sure if you want that. So if you do, go ahead and post it in the bottom, and then I'll take pictures of them. But for now, I'm not really sure I'm going to take it after they've been bisqued. Um, then the final glaze, when I actually glaze it, I'm going to take a picture of it before it's fired, and then um, I'm going to take a picture after it's fired. So um, this, is, this is how I'm keeping track of everything. And then I'm going to add up how much clay I've used for the entire project. That, that was my goal with that. Um, <clears throat> somebody was asking about my, my um, chart. What I did with this is I went in Excel. I, I first I came out here and I wrote down every single code, um, every thing, single... Uh, I don't know how well you can see that. Um, anyway, here's the the stock number, what it is. I also have a, how, what size it is, if it's food safe. Yes, it's food safe. No, it's not food safe. And then I also went online, and I found each one of the colors. And a lot of them I don't have. Like, I don't have colors for these because I couldn't find an actual picture of them because they're so old. They're out of, out of print. So, yeah, so that's what this is. Uh, actually, it's not 100% updated because I've, I've purchased some since then, but, um, yeah, that's what that is. And here are my new chips. I call them nuggets, but they're actually glazed chips. And these are my low-fire glazes. Some of them I really like and I'm, I'm thinking of using on the cup, so I laid them out to see which ones I wanted to grab. This is Turkish coffee. When it has three, and it's in it's in coats, so it's lighter at, up top and is darker down at the bottom, because I I do one layer, then I go halfway down and do the second uh, second coat, and then I go the, the rest of the way down and I do the third coat. So you can see that's why it's lighter at the top and darker at the bottom. Thought that'd be interesting. You won't get to hear the whole conversation I had with myself when I threw the last one, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> But before I was ending, I was trimming with my metal trimmer, and I had just recently, I was saying, I just recently emailed Simon Leach about his wooden sticks, you know, because he sells them, you know, 10 bucks for his wooden stick and a trimmer, and I thought, yeah, I'd like to get one, and I emailed him, and I thought about it, and I thought, well, I have a wooden stick here, and I tried it. And I'll be honest, every time I try a wooden stick, you know how everybody has their thing, you know, fingernails on a chalkboard? I have that thing about my wooden stick on my bat. It's like taking a popsicle stick and running it, and <laughs> running it between your teeth. So I don't think I'm going to be ordering it. I'm sure it is an excellent tool, and I'm disappointed I'm not going to be able to try it. But <laughs> I just realized I can't stand that sound of wood on wood scraping against a bat. Ugh. Well, if you can bite a popsicle stick, then I'm sure it's great for you. <laughs> they look like they work so well, too. I just, I just know that once I get it, I won't use it. I use it a couple times and go, oh, I can't stand that sound. Okay. Oh, this one is much better. It is staying centered, Alex. You are right. I love this thumb technique and pushing your thumb in the center to, to pull it out. That has really helped me out a lot. It's a lot less strain on my fingers. Now comes the practice part. I'm trying to get my fingers in that position. Okay, 
Is that hand correct? And he put two hands out here, and he lifts it up into a volcano shape in the center. See, my hands are getting dry. Did I not put enough water on? I didn't get all the way to the base. I lost some clay on that. But see, like right here. Well, that's it for day number 30. Um, threw some awesome, huge, massive, they almost look like pots, but I'm going to call them a tankard. But threw a couple new cups today and um, hope you enjoyed everything else that I added to it as little special features. And we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, you know where to put them. And I'm trying to keep track of all the suggestions I'm getting. I'm trying that new technique um, that I uh, that Alex suggested. He's a um, a production potter, which means he does as little as possible to get to where he wants to go. And that would be a great deal if I could master that. Then I can actually put the ideas in here to here. Yep, see. I've got clay hands. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed today, and we will see you later.